Ow. Oh. Mac and cheese without the Mac. Today on <laughs> To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it's nobler in the mind to suffer the slings. All right, so I'm on a diet. For two weeks, I'm getting ready to go to Las Vegas for my baby brother's bachelor party. Trying to get slim, looking trim, getting ready for the sun and the pool and whatnot. I'm trying to stay away from carbs. I'm trying this keto diet. Now, the low carbs, high fat type thing, I don't know if it works. It probably doesn't. It's like any of those little it sometimes doesn't work. So I love macaroni and cheese, and I found a recipe online that swears that you can take cauliflower and cheddar cheese and basically make mac and cheese without the mac. If you're like me, the best way to prepare cauliflower is to throw it in the trash and call and order pizza. We'll rush and give it a shot. It looks like brains, doesn't it? It looks like brains. That's why I was, that was a whole Hamlet thing, right? To be or not to be, because of the skull. Not. Let's cook it! In order to put this recipe together, besides obviously the cauliflower, you're gonna need cream cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and you're gonna need some kind of milk-ish product. Now, the recipe that I found calls for heavy cream, but I'd be in the bathroom for six days if I put that in my meal. So, instead, I'm gonna use cashew milk. Let's give it a shot. First thing you're gonna have to do is set your microwave to 375. This isn't a microwave. Set your oven to 375. Take this and chop it up into small pieces. How the f do you cut this thing? Ah. So one thing I forgot to do is start your pot of water boiling. You need a water uh, a quart or so or whatever. So I don't know. Boil water. Once your water starts boiling, throw in the cauliflower, add some salt. Holy <laughs> see that? Speaking, she starts to move. So I'm still waiting for the fucking cauliflower to boil. I really forgot how long it takes for water to boil, and then you throw the thing in there, and it's whatever, so. And I'm starving. It's, uh, it's actually like nine o'clock at night. I had one meal at about 1 p.m and haven't eaten since. So I figured, well, let me shoot this episode and show you guys how to make the cauliflower that I want to eat tonight with my tilapia. So I figured, well, let me make the cauliflower, I'll shoot the episode, and then I'll cook the tilapia. Well, f now it's 9.15 and I'm starving. And I got another, like, I don't know, three hours worth of this cauliflower to make. So, you know. Oh, now it wants to boil. So I figured this is why keto works, is because, Well, as I was saying, why keto works and probably keeps you so thin is because the recipes take so long that you don't ever actually eat your food, so you're losing weight. Basically like you were in a prison camp, so. Oh, and it smells like too. Flour, I strained the cauliflower, put it back into the pot. Now get yourself another saucepan. Now get your cream cheese. Oh, and I forgot another ingredient, mustard. Go ahead and add your milk. Cheddar cheese. Now you're supposed to use a whisk. Well, I don't have a whisk. Powder, onion powder, some garlic powder, some salt. Lump the cauliflower in the pot. It, that hurt. God! Yeah. Throw that shit up. Alright, well here's the moment of truth, I guess. I'm gonna try this. Watery in the bottom of the pan. I don't know how it got so watery. Um... Not worth the time that it took me to cook it, but I guess it's healthy and it tastes not too bad, so 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna just stop eating all together. This one I guess I kind of failed, but... Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Also remember to follow me on Instagram, share the videos. Let's do it. Let's get it to 100 subscribers now. Bon appetit. Let's cook it. Oh, I gotta break all this down now and bring it in the kitchen. I burped. Here's I'm a bunny. <laughs> okay, so in order to execute this recipe, we're gonna. Oh, I'm not looking at the wrong thing. <laughs>